Good morning, beautiful people. Hey, everyone. And welcome to another day in Tbilisi. Yeah. But we won't be in Tbilisi for very long. Look, today we're going to go on a tour to the Kakheti region. Hmm. Kakheti region here in Georgia is basically like the Franchuk, the very wine region-y area. So we're quite excited about that. We actually booked a tour with uh, like a Georgian tour group, I guess. Um, yes. They're more like a personalized tour group but either way we're going to be collected by this like uh by george <laughs> by george from georgia um yeah so we're just waiting for our driver and then hopefully we'll get on the way i'm excited Our guide just brought us to this awesome monastery, which is in the Kacheti region. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and this is the David Gareji Monastery. It's a Christian monastery that started in the 6th century by a dude named David. And um, yeah, it's really kind of amazing. They unfortunately didn't have any water nearby. There was basically no water sources. So they came up with an ingenious way to actually harvest water. The cliff has got these striations and they actually use the striations to harvest not only rainwater, but like dew, dew. and- So morning dew. Yeah. And wow. even just like wet misty days, like anything like that and collected it in a cistern and pumped it around. I think they set up some pipes with, with clay. Yeah, clay pipes. Clay pipes were basically set up around the whole yeah. cave complex there are apparently 5,000 caves in this whole complex the whole region not whole only region. this complex it's like the whole region here going around and in these, the there are these just beautiful valleys where there's literally nothing but rolling hills yeah it's stunningly beautiful so amazing and the the monks even to this day live in these cave complexes so if you can check up there Yeah, it's no hobbit hole, but I think it's a close second. hostel restaurant in a, in a little town called Udabno. Uh, we're just gonna grab a beer, grab some lunch and then have a good time. We just obviously left the monastery and it was just absolutely spectacular. So cool. It's crazy to see how a bunch of monks basically just chiseled out stones to make steps and living yeah. quarters and everything. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, so they first started at the city and then they came all the way here into the middle of which is like an hour and a half drive. Yeah, so, so I mean, walking from Tbilisi must be insane. And then, and then building here and is then crazy. They found the caves and sat there building a, you know, a whole monastery. And homes. Yeah, it's insane. But we're food and beer. Grab some lunch and beer. George recommended that we try this salsi here, which is like uh, another traditional Georgian dish. Yeah. What do you call it? Yeah. Oh, it's like a stew. Yeah, stew. Really uh, nice. It's like a beef stew. It's obviously, uh, potato, some potatoes, herbs, and tomato. Oh, delicious. And then we've got a uh, khachapuri here, but this one is with a little bit of tarragon, so it's like slightly different. Yeah. Instead of tarragon, in all time it was uh, wheat. So I hope, <laughs> like recently, uh, three days ago, we legalized wheat, so I hope oh, this it's tradition... Oh, it's only three days ago? Yeah. Uh, wow. This, uh, this tradition will, will be renewed. Will be, will be renewed. <laughs> yeah. Like we'll have wheat in our little... 
cakes again. Well, I'm gonna grab one. So anyway, we're gonna dig in. I'm hungry. Yes. That was really good. Yeah, we have that on good authority that that was like really, really um, authentic khachapuri and it was absolutely delicious. Yeah, I really think tarragon is becoming my newfound what? favorite thing. It's so good. Ah. Yeah, anyway, now that we're filled up again mm -hmm. and uh, beard up again. Yes, as always. We're going to take another two hour drive to our next destination. I'm not really quite sure where that is, but we're going to show you once we get there. <laughs> We made it to the Bod Bay Convent. Oh, it's this amazing nunnery that was established a couple hundred years ago. The views are absolutely incredible here. And Yanni has taken the opportunity to get out the drone. He's gonna get a wonderful view of the complex. This is why I just grabbed you guys, just to have a quick look around. Uh, we basically have a really cool bell tower over there that's one of the oldest buildings in this complex um, that is a new church somewhere in the background is a new church they're actually constructing so that's a new addition to the complex and on the other side across the wall by the absolutely amazing balcony is not only a beautiful garden but the valley just going as far as the eye can see arrived at our wine tasting for today. Uh, it has an absolutely remarkable view. It's pretty insane. <laughs> but yeah, it's time for us to try some of the um, traditional method of winemaking. Apparently Georgia started making wine around about 8,000 years ago. They've discovered evidence of it like in clay pots and they still use the same method today. Instead of using wooden barrels to effectively ferment and like mature the wine, they use clay pots, which is apparently different. They use amphorus. We've got some delicious breads with what looks like either melted butter or very, very weird olive oil or oil. But we're going to give it a shot. Let's see what it's like. Just a correction. That is actually sunflower oil, homemade. like homemade, homemade unfiltered. Sunflower. It's really good. <laughs> and our first bind arrived. It's just, it's so good, but it's so different from any white wine I've ever had. Um, it's got like a deep, luxurious character. Um, and as Johnny described, it's not acidic at all. It's just it's very interesting. It's really good. Mm. It is it is described as amber. It's not an orange wine. It's amber in color. Apparently the process um, involves leaving the, the wine to mature over a long period and that's essentially what allows the colors to come through. So this I think is two months maturation. Mm. So that gives ample time for that beautiful amber color to develop. So, so beautiful, it's so unique. I've never seen an amber wine before. Yeah, it actually has like almost a tanniny red wine taste, but completely mixed in with like white wine. And by that, I don't mean they actually mix the wines, but it's just like that red wine tannin that is almost present in a white wine, but still very smooth, very flavorful, exceptionally fruity. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, they call it the, uh, the Mitzvane? Mitzvane, yeah, that's the specific wine. Good stuff. I'm very happy that while we were in Georgia, we managed to actually fit in a wine tasting. And we got to have some cha which is just, it's kind of like a grappa, as they describe it, made from grapes or wine, 
and it is potent and puts it in your chest and it's amazing. So the cha-cha we just had, I mean they serve it in like tiny little shot glasses, but uh, the cha-cha we just had is about like 65% alcohol content, which is like more than whiskey, so it's pretty potent, but still really tasty, it's good stuff, not bad at all. So George took us for some wine tasting at Ocros Wines, which was absolutely amazing. If you're ever in Georgia, try some cha-cha. Try lots of cha-cha, it's even better. Um, but after that, we went to go see the uh, the walls here in Signagi, which is uh, like pretty much, apparently the walls were built before this town on the hill. Usually you would obviously have a settlement and then they built the walls afterwards. Here, it was actually built in the exact opposite order. They started with a wall uh, because there were so many Persian invasions this far up, so to speak, uh, they decided to try to rebuff that. So if there's any kind of imminent attack, they would just pull all the villages back up the hill and uh, fortified the hill with some walls. And then after time, the town just kind of like popped up behind the walls, which is just amazing. It's, uh, they call it the, the city of love. And if the Parisians are offended by that, then we call it the town of love. But uh, it's really beautiful. It's really quite something to come and see. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, I think that's pretty much the, uh, the little town of Signagi for us for today. But it's just such a little merry town. People are just out having such a good time. It's awesome, man. Uh, I don't know. Oh my goodness. It is late. It was still an awesome day though. Yeah, that was like when they say a day trip, they mean a day trip. I mean, we started at nine and we literally ended at nine. Yeah, like five to nine. It is, hours. yeah, so long day. But it's absolutely worth it. The Cajeti region is absolutely stunning. Mm, yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, and George, our tour guide or operator, whatever you want to call him, is really awesome. Super so hospitable. Yeah. So informative. Just, mm. just generally awesome. Thanks, George. If you're watching this, George, <laughs> you're a great dude. We really love the tour. Thank you so much for taking us around. It was great. But. Mm. That brings us to the end of this day because I need to just fall down now. <laughs> yes, it's definitely time to fall down. Um, I think we need to like rinse off the day. So get a shower and then get into bed. So very happy we could take you guys along with us today. Mm. Well, it was fun. Stay awesome. And we'll see you next time.